So hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. Just before we get started with fear, uh, I just reminded you guys that it is Halloween week, so over on my Patreon there's going to be a whole bunch of new shows starting up, including American Horror Story, Haunting of Hill House, Good Omens and stuff like that, but there's also going to be a movie reaction put up every day in the lead up to Halloween, so there's things like Cops Bride, Lost Boys, Nightmare Before Christmas, all of the classics and some kind of newer classics too, so the link is in the description down below. Um, yeah, I guess I'll talk a little bit more about that at the end of the video, but just thought I'd get that in there. So let's fucking go. Fear time. <laughs> so does he just have to stay with her now? Out of like loyalty to your man that died? Jenny was uh, nursing Dwayne. She couldn't keep the weight on, so it didn't even matter how much Chinese takeout I'll bring home, but... <laughs> He doesn't talk about his family anymore. Oh, hearing him reference them. <gasps> what? Do you love Jack? Where did you get this? I got somebody on the inside. It's getting a bit warm now, so... Ugh. Oh, lads, is he back on his bullshit making a stick? He People picked up the axe. And now he's making a stick again? I feel like I've been 16 different somebody since it all ended. That's how 2020 has felt. Oh my god, Morgie Jones. I knew he wouldn't give up that fucking stick. It's just new and improved and altered a little bit. I knew he wouldn't give it up totally. He's like, the old Morgan Jones is dead, but not that dead though. We're still keeping parts of him. Imagine the rest of the show is just filmed like this. They're like, we blew all our budget in the first two episodes. <laughs> Bear with us. Camera A, location 731. Montana. Yeah, I count at least 15 sleeping bags. How many do we drop? Not enough. This setup kind of reminds me of, you remember the country club and the episode still of The Walking Dead? And they go in and there's like, I don't know, is the setting, I don't know if it's the it's vibe, there's just two people in an abandoned house. It's, it's reminded me of that, and that's my favourite episode of The Walking Dead. I know that's controversial, people really didn't like it, but that is the hill I will die on. To me, that is the best episode. I will fight you. <laughs> I would rather not, but you know. We're waiting out the weather. Then we'll have to drop Price Baker for the angel. She eavesdropped on somebody's. Oh, that's her love. That's her lady love. I'm not even worried about this. Al's not dying anytime soon. She's looking strangely fresh. Oh, oh, whoa. Did one of her teeth just pop out of her mouth? You okay? Drill, find out why. So we make sure what happened to them, and we have it up. Copy. It's so weird to think about Dwight and his story and how far he's come yeah. since Ooh, since his saviour days. It's fucking insane. And they, they're going to get drunk now and they're going to get sad and they're going to start talking about their lost loves. Dwight is going to start banging on about Sherry. She's going to start banging on about Isabella and it's going to be a big, well, drunk, gone. emotional moment. Uh, no, this will go down a lot better with a bag of pretzels. That's what Sherry used to say about that beer. I knew it was only a matter of time until they started talking about love. The less you know about this, the better. You say that every time I ask about beer lady. Ground 17, that's her, isn't it? He he doesn't get he doesn't get to judge Al okay he chased yeah. Sherry from yeah. one show across uh. into another show he switched shows looking for her he doesn't get to judge okay no and what in the dropside Baker it's in the city I think okay why aren't we heading there right now she has <laughs> protocols I'm not even supposed to know she exists R run off with her go back to where she's from I go a wall Jenny will kill us or she'll kill our friends. Not if she thinks you're dead. Find a walker your size, recent turn, mess up its face, toss the camera on it, I tell her you bought it. Oh, my God. Stay patch if I ever found Sherry out of here. I'm feeling feelings for Dwayne Boy that I haven't felt before. Yeah, I can't put that on you. Yeah, you know, if I, if I knew she was out there and you didn't push me to go, I'd kick your ass. Like to see you try? Who'd have thought they'd be dead? Let's go back. What are we on now? We're on... We're on season six of Fear the Walking Dead. Let's go back to season six of The Walking Dead and tell us back then that Dwight that we hated back then we're gonna grow to fucking love and you're gonna want him as your road trip buddy. You couldn't, you couldn't, you couldn't pick a better buddy for the road. <laughs> He's like, I'd kill a walker. I'd make everyone think it's you. 
And I'm like, well, if that ain't the sweetest shit I've heard all day. Alaska. No. So, oh my God, so they're collecting IDs? They're collecting, like, yeah, driver's no, licenses? That's not what Aaron and uh, Eric used to do, isn't it? They used to collect license plates it. from different yeah. places. They collect IDs. It's kind of morbid, but like, oh. I met Austin Emilio once at a convention and he told me he loved my eyeshadow. And since then, that has been like my yeah. biggest takeaway from him. Every time I put pink eyeshadow on these days, I'm like, Austin, <laughs> this one's for you. <sighs> Abort this fucking mission. Nothing good is going to come from this a stairwell with like a rat compartment at the Thank bottom you. of it. I'm not like never seen a rat before. Okay, easy there. Don't move. Is this Grady Memorial? What the fuck is going on with this episode? Let me rephrase, what are you doing in the building? Huh? How was I supposed to know? I'm not talking about them. Do you think it was her? Beer lady, do you think she shot our friend Alaska down there? No, way. So you're just gonna let me walk you up there? No, of course not. I would never let her see you. Why do you know you weren't gonna get shot? I love the little rubber duck on the table. It's like Dwight's stress toy. <laughs> it's so out of place. Why is there a rubber duck on the table? Does we need your help? Oh, oh Christ. A few days. And this is kind of reminding me of the prison when the sickness jumped out. That's this episode is just all of the f all of the throwbacks. He looks like Ollie Sykes. We have to go. Huh? How we ended up? The rats, the thumbs on their neck, it's bubonic plague. Have you seen it before? Oh, that one came out of the biology. Hang on, but we're standing in the middle. We're standing in the middle of an establishment that has the bubonic plague. <laughs> Please leave right now. Get the fuck out of this building, lads. Wow, this is crazy. What's crazy is doing what we've been doing and calling it living. Dude, the plague is here on level five, and we're really just standing here having an argument about like if they should go and see if Al's lady love is upstairs or not. Are you just gonna leave them the there? The last time I felt alive was with her. They've, they've gone very quiet inside door number five. They're all just huddled around the door listening to the drama like, what? What's going on? They're just gonna leave everyone to die on floor number five? Without even a second thought? If she puts the gun down, what are you gonna say? Nothing. I Grab know, her and kiss her passionately. So, no words needed. That pretty quick. Well, I, I was dehydrated and I hadn't slept for days and I thought I was going to die. Their partnership is very unlikely, but I'm loving so the two of them together. But they're very hopeful and optimistic for the future. And I'm like, I don't know. It makes me kind of suspicious. The hell? I thought those things were carrying the plague. They are. Do you still want to go up? <coughs> Oh, lads, there's rats in the wall. What are you doing? Don't go opening the wall. Ah, that's manky now. Come on, don't, don't. I've done crazy things for love, but I can't say I'd ever shove my head through a plague-riddled glory hole in a building that I ain't never been in before, okay? This is too much for me. And now we're climbing. I think Dwight is just happy to have something to do. He's like, yeah, I'm never going to meet Sherry, but fuck it. I live vicariously through you, Al. You have a love that could be up at the top of this building? Let's get her! Yeah. Keep moving. You absolute fucking nut jobs. What? I get that, like, she just wants a moment of happiness, so, like, she probably doesn't give a fuck if she gets the plague, but she's leading Dwight through these... Having no regard for your own life is one thing, but putting someone else's life at risk? How quick did they have to crawl at that wall to break through it at that velocity? What? No! No! He did not just get bit by a rat. He did not just get bit by the bubonic plague! Oh, I'm about to lose my fucking... You did not cross him over and give him the story just for Al to get Randy and drag him through the plague fucking corridors. Are you kidding me? Well, how long before the symptoms show up? A day, two, two days usually. 
I could have got it here. Living in the land of COVID, this shit just hits too close to home. I don't want to be talking about getting infected and showing symptoms, you know, and stay away from me. I've lived enough of that this year, alright? Let's not. Maybe we can get to the rally point earlier. Lads, I gotta be honest, I don't know when this happened, but I think I've a bit of a crush on Dwight. I, I just, I don't know, man. Thank you. I don't know, is it seeing him here with the axe? <laughs> You're exposed too, you know. I can take care of myself. All right, but like strong will and determination isn't going to keep the plague away from you. Like, you know what I mean? If you're infected, you're infected. You can't be like, no, I've decided I'm going to be okay. So she wants to go up to the roof to get um, antibiotics off of Al's lady love. Well, that, that could work and then Dwight could be okay, right? Yeah, I don't know when this happened, but lads, I think I've developed a bit of a thing for Dwight. I don't know, is it? The badassery with the axe, but I'm looking at him and I'm like, do any boy? I'm getting love hard dies for you a little bit. And where we need to go. Yeah, we need to Don't leave. Like no one should remember them like that. <laughs> Dwight's like awkward. We got hundreds of hours of footage at our GoPro. You know what? Never mind. I don't even remember what they look like before. <sighs> Your friend that went up to the roof is dead on the floor outside the building, love. <sighs> At least she has closure, though. I work down on the fifth floor selling timeshares to desperate people who are trying to escape their boring lives. You're a lot braver than I am. Or maybe just stupid. <laughs> no, if I saw her, I think I'd just hold her. As tight as I can. You have to do that with Beer Lady. <laughs> Will she tell him her name at least? She's gonna shoot you. I left something on there <laughs> for you. <laughs> for the chopper ride. It's uh -huh. hold on to it. What he recorded a little video for her? Oh, is it gonna be depressing? Maybe the graphics just haven't loaded yet. A helicopter could easily just spawn in, in the distance, you know? Give it a little bit, Al. Don't forget the pretzels. That way you can get them down. All right. I love you. Oh! Oh, Dwighty boy! Yeah, that'll do it. I'm in love. I can already hear people yelling at me, but he was so mean to Daryl, and I'm like, I don't care. He's here now, and he's good now. The conflict is real. Because, yes, he has done shit in the past. It is just really bad. But... He's Al's wingman, and he... he... <sighs> Lads, I hear helicopter blades. Reverse course, I repeat, round 17, reverse course. Wait, what? They're infected with the plague. It's not safe to land. You should stay off this channel. <laughs> wow, gee, Are you're we welcome. Out? Wait. I told you to stay off this channel. I just want to say... Please bring back some antibiotics. Don't just fly away into the distance. It's good to hear your voice. She did the right thing because I guess if the helicopter had landed, then yeah, she probably would have infected her. And like, we don't want that because she loves her. But like, <laughs> okay, there's antibiotics in the building. Stay where you are. I'm coming down to you. <sighs> All right, Dwight's okay. That was a fucking roller coaster of an episode. <laughs> Oh, Ollie Sykes lived! I lost your brother once. The tapes were all I had. Guess I didn't want that to happen. Oh! She looks at him as a brother. <laughs> it's too early for these kind of feelings to be coming out. I haven't even had breakfast yet, and I'm here like crying. Crying over Dwight, of all things. How the fuck are they going to explain this to Virginia, though? Are they just going to be like, um, we didn't find nothing or no one, and there's no, there's, we've got no footage. They saved all of the people, though. What a quick turnaround from, like, shoving the axe under the door, locking them all in, being like, fuck them, to, let's save them. I think someone made these people sick. Like, Jenny? <laughs> We're outside our territory. I had to guess. Someone else? It was whoever spray painted that message in the lobby. 
I am so happy for him and for her. They both deserve the fucking world given the absolute fuckery that they had to deal with in The Walking Dead. And he did what he said he would do. He said he wouldn't know what to say to her, that he would just hold her as tight as he could. And... <sighs> I think I've fallen in love with Dwight. That made my soul smile. Anyway, guys, that is it for this week's video. Thank you so much for watching. As I said at the start of the video, uh, because it's Halloween week, I have a whole bunch of Halloween videos going up on Patreon. There's reactions to American Horror Story and Haunting of Hill House starting, as well as there's going to be a movie every day, like The Corpse Bride, um, Nightmare Before Christmas, The Lost Boys. There's a lot of like Halloween stuff going on over there, so the link is down below. If you'd like to check that out, I would appreciate it. Um, and if not, the link to my Twitter and my Instagram is also down below, where we can just connect and say, hey, talk shit and whatnot. But, um, oh my god. That episode, just, I feel good inside. Do you ever just feel good after watching something? <sighs> so yeah, thank you guys. And I will, I will talk to you all soon.